Hey there, Python trainer Ruben Lerner here. And today I wanna to show you why you should not be using the keys method on dictionaries, at least when you're searching in that dict. So let's create a small dict, D equals A 10, B 20, C 30. And let's say I want to search for a key in the dictionary. So it's very natural and common for people to say A in D.keys. After all, the D.keys method will return, that method call will return a dict keys object, and then in knows how to search on a dict keys object and will find out that it's there. What is this D.keys return object? Well, yeah, it's dict, dict underscore keys. It's kind of like a cross between a list and a set. And so when I say A in D keys, what's happening is that we get back this dict keys object. And then Python goes one by one by one through each of these keys and finds out, does our A match that or not? Now, if that's making you feel a little funny, it should, because the whole point of a dictionary is that we don't have to search through each and every element in the dict or each and every pair in the dict. Rather, the whole point is that we use the hash function or that Python uses a hash function to immediately jump to the right place in memory and find out is our key value pair there or not. In other words, this idea that we have to iterate over each and every key to find out if our key is there is completely opposite to the way that dictionaries should work and should be used. So what's going on here? Well, what's going on is we said we want to search in d.keys. There is a better way though. I can say a in d. And people don't realize that the dictionary object itself implements the in operator and it implements it such that it uses the hash function. In other words, it's not gonna iterate over each and every key. It's gonna jump to the right place in memory and find out is our key there or not. And sure enough, I get back the right answer. Now, what's wrong with using the keys method? First of all, it's not wrong per se. You will always get the right answer, but it takes much longer. How much longer? Let's find out. I'm going to use the magic command time it because I'm using Jupyter. I'm going to say time it of a in d dot keys. And it's going to run this many, many, many times, about 10 million times if my previous experiments were accurate. Here we go. 10 million times of seven runs, 53 nanoseconds. And then if I say time it of a in just d, it uses about half that. Yeah, 22 nanoseconds. In other words, it's double the time to search in d.keys of just searching in d. And that's because, once again, when I say a in d, it just jumps to the right place in memory and then checks is it there or not. Whereas if I say a in d.keys, first it has to find the method, then it has to run the method, then it has to return the data structure, and then it has to iterate. This is the really big part. Iterate over that data structure one by one by one by one. And if it's not there, well, like, you know, then we're at the end. Right, I wonder actually, if I were to say here, Z in D.keys, as opposed to Z in D, that might actually have an even bigger difference, although probably not too much. Yeah, it's basically the same thing, right? Because it is a small dictionary. And at the end of the day, we're just iterating over three things here. I mean, for crying out loud. So whenever you use D.keys, think again. Think again and consider using just D. There's another place where you can do this, by the way, although it's not quite as important. If I say for one key in D.keys, then print one key, and that will work, right? I'll print each of the keys, but I don't have to do that. I can just say for one key in D. Now, does this work much faster? Let's modify this a little bit and say X equals one key, and I'm gonna use the double percent version of time it so it works on the entire cell. It's not going to be a big difference based on what I've seen in the past, but you know, it's something. It's running it, running it, running it, running it, running it. There we go. 150 nanoseconds. And here, if I do one key in D, again, if my previous experiments are any indication, it'll take less time, but not a lot less time. Oh, actually more time than it did in the past. So you can see basically that there's no advantage to using the keys method. There's a huge advantage in terms of it being more idiomatic, in terms of it using less memory, and in terms of it just like running faster to work directly on the dictionary. Let me know what you think about this video or any other video I've been putting up. Um, I will be back soon with lots more video lessons about Python pandas and everything in between. Thanks so much for watching. See you again here soon.